March 25th, 2021, up here in Big Bear Lake, and it, it's starting to snow a little bit. I mean, a little tiny bit. And I thought, since we haven't really been around the lake in a minute, let's just take a, a little tour around the lake, see what it's like out in the Fonskin area. I'm gonna have to like pull over and like stand up like halfway through. I've got the cramping. And the mine all day with Mark. You know what I just had? That was so good. I forgot how good they are. Um, I think they're called peeps, right? Those, those little marshmallow like ducks. Oh my God, it was so good. Yum, yum, yum. This is really cool weather. I like this. A really low ceiling. And up here, it's always lower than it is down there, but the fact that we have a land, <laughs> land up here, it, it gives it, it gives it a feel up here, like it does down there, in terms of uh, how much higher the clouds are. I don't know. Sometimes it feels like uh, the clouds are really moving a lot faster up here. Obviously, they're always moving the same. Well, it, you know, from different perspectives, it, it looks a lot faster if you're a lot closer to it. But sometimes it seems like uh, they're just flowing slow as well. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to shut the heck up. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah. What's a but, yeah? I'm a little bit on the tired side. It's a good tired though. It's a good tired though. I started getting, started exercising again. Like I, I, I didn't really jog too too far, but I mean, I did a little jogging today, and then like almost fell because I'm so out of shape. It wasn't that bad, but yeah. Thank goodness for muscle memory and. Oh, this is cool here. Okay, here's Stanfield. I'm gonna have to roll down these big windows right here. This is, oh my God, that's so windy. I gotta roll up one side here. That's towards uh, the dam. And this is towards Baldwin. Whoa. Wow, that is so windy. Oh my gosh. This part of town right here is just crazy windy. Cause there's just nothing blocking anything right here. And you can see a snow band coming right there. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Guys, this does look, it looks gnarly, doesn't it? They look gnarly, don't they? And uh, unfortunately for you skiers and snowboarders, man, it's, uh, gosh, you know what? Like, I need to find out the exact date to try to help you guys out, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's this, uh, well, no, I'm, no, I'm not gonna say I'm pretty sure because one of my buddies who I think works at one of the resorts told me I think the 14th or something. I really hope that's right, so you guys can get some more time to come up here and chill until the next episode. Man, I want to drive with the window down because it's just so awesome over there. It's 34 degrees. I have this altimeter um, that I got from the app store on my iPhone and it's it's like one of my only apps that works without having to use cellular data or anything so like uh, when I'm off on 2N10 in the summertime or like this and that I can check my elevation and whatnot it's without uh, needing any uh, any services which is which is kind of cool I'll have to I'll have to figure out what the name of it is, but when I moved up here, I just loved knowing what altitude I was at, what elevation I was at, always, because it was just such an anomaly to live way up here. Not many people get to do this. You know, it's cool, man. I've lived at the beach. I've lived on the bay. I've lived in Hawaii on the beach. I've lived in... Hawaii inland a little bit, in Waikoloa Village on the Big Island, and then Pulko down there at the beach. 
and in uh, Kauai High for a little bit. Um, and then, uh, man, I've lived at the at the front range of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Highlands Ranch, Aurora, Littleton. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy how fortunate I've been to live in some of those beautiful places. Some of those absolutely beautiful places. And yet I complain so much about things. It's like, geez, man, like, why do I complain so much? I need to get that under control. And it's gotten a lot better, you guys. Granted. Still needs improvement. So we're on Highway 38. Um, if you stay on this straight without making any deviations whatsoever, um, without connecting the connecting road, because this, if you want to stay on Highway 38 on uh, going the other way, you have to make a right turn on Greenway, and then you turn left on Big Bear Boulevard, and then you hit Highway 38 when you make a right-hand turn uh, right there next to Lippies. Um, so this road, if you just turn around and go straight back that way without making any deviations whatsoever, you're going to go down the hill, uh, down into the Cern Valley. Um, and when you get down to the bottom where you get to that cross, go to the Cafe 247, man. Super, super good food. They have amazing food and it's in the middle of freaking nowhere and they're all, and they're crowded always. And when I roll up on my hog, dude, ooh -wee. I'm like this like freaking little guy jumping off of this like big man's bike. I probably look like a dumbass, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I have fun on it, so. And uh, I look like a gangster on it. That's, that's pretty cool. A tiny gangster. Let's go ride my bike. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, this is, guys, this is the most beautiful time of night or day that I talk about recording when there's a storm on the iPhone. This part, right, it, it's gonna turn out so beautiful, just this little neighborhood part right there, that house with its yellow lights. It's gonna be marvelous. And uh, yeah, man, you can't even see the lake and it's right here, that is awesome. We're, I mean, we are socked in, but it's, it's just unfortunate there's not a lot of precipitation uh, associated with this, with this frontal system. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always all over the place, so I have no idea where the heck I'm going next. That's mentally driving. I don't really have much of a choice up here. <laughs> Imagine if this place had a ton of roads, guys. We'd be like, we'd be, uh, we'd be so lost. Like we, we'd be found because we got so lost. <laughs> like we, we'd find ourselves. That's how lost we'd be. Jeez. I wonder if I'd make more sense if, if some of you like took some psilocybin <laughs> and watched these videos and listened to me talk like, oh, now he makes sense. <laughs> All the beautiful colors. Um, <laughs> oh man, that's, that's just like, that's just a scary, you know, Bigfoot's gonna come out of there. Bigfoot is gonna come out of there. Swear. Yeah, regarding this uh, this this little event here, uh, we have a friend through here. Her name's Linda. She lives on this side of town. She's been really really bugging the heck out of me because uh, she's been very right about her predictions recently, and I've been very wrong. So uh, you know, she and I are gonna have to step outside pretty soon. <laughs> uh, good job, Linda. It's really cool having these types of interactions with you guys, man. It's a lot of fun. I mean, 20 years ago, I would have thought I'm like the biggest dork in the world, but you know, it's, uh, man, if I can't beat them, join them, <laughs> you know? So if I'll be the biggest dork of them all. I think I'm already pretty close to earning that award, guys. Don't sell me short. But yeah, so we're entering Fonskin. This is a really beautiful town, very peaceful little town. Um, if you blink, you will miss it. So, uh, yeah, try to pay attention. The lake's right here. It usually would go up to right here when it's full. 
and all of these big beautiful homes right down there would be lakefront but they're not they're prairie front right now <laughs> like with a long long distance to the water um this is uh what which the big bear moose lodge that's what i'm talking about my, my buddy who uh, who's the store manager at Stater Brothers, he has a really nice Harley as well. And uh, he does these these rides for for his moose lodge right there. And I'm, I'm trying to hook up with them to, uh, to do some sort of a charitable event or something where I can do something to help whatever their cause is. <laughs> They're cool people, man. But yeah, this is fun skin, you guys. That's a very historic building right there. Your guess is as good as mine. I can't remember at the moment what it is, but uh, yeah, I'm sure a very historic building doesn't really help you guys, but yeah. So this is the little town of Fonskin. Hey, look, there's the Fonskin Realty office. Hey, hey, hey. It looks like they have two businesses in one because you see the green light. <laughs> All right, uh, and then here's the post office. There's the Fonskin post office right there. I know you guys are very interested in that. All right, now let's drive back into this mini blizzard. But yeah, Linda, thank you again for everything. Linda's awesome, man. Linda Uribe, what a nice, nice lady. She has just been on the button with these storms, these past couple storms. You know, we're gonna have to change this to to Big Linda and more. <laughs> Big Linda, Big Bear Linda and more. But yeah, anyway. You guys are like, you guys are the big bear part. I'm just the animal. As I always tell you guys, it's really amazing what it, what feelings I get when I look to the west. And, uh, you know, every time that I hit the record button, you guys are here with me. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a magic feeling. It's like, uh, gosh, I, I really hate using these types of, uh, analogies and stuff but it's like using you know drinking we'll make it easier on that side it's like drinking like uh like it, it it's like when you like take a couple shots real quick you feel good immediately every time basically and uh you know every time i hit the record button man it's it, it, it's like i'm taking another shot of of you guys and putting myself out there and risking you guys not liking me or saying mean things or this or that and uh you know like like yeah that's that's all about being human at the same time i think this channel is making me stronger as a person uh you guys are a significant addition to that uh to that education in, in my current existence so um i'm growing a lot because of you guys and i'm i'm not taking things as like uh i'm i'm not allowing trolls to to, you know, to really bother me. I, of course, <laughs> you know, it does. But when I have to remind myself, like, dude, it's not like you're like trying to like, like, like make this channel like a, a like a, a financial success or anything, you know, I never ask you guys to hit subscribe or hit the like button or, uh, or click uh, notifications or like this and that. Like, uh, I just want you guys to enjoy this with me. And if this takes away my depression a lot of times, doing stuff like this then maybe it'll take away yours all right you know we're not that different people you know we react differently sometimes but ultimately what it all what it all boils down to is that we're all we're all baked pretty much the same at least i'm always baked <laughs> I had, it was, it's a joke it's a joke it's a joke you guys come on get real all right um yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. Because you know, when you when you're forced to face things like mean people or stuff that like I don't like or like you guys don't like or or, or this and that, you know, as much as it sucks, what a blessing, though, right? You're being forced to face something, and then who knows? Maybe the process of of fighting through it and eventually overcoming wasn't nearly what you thought it would be. Maybe it was actually so contrary to what you originally believed it would be like that you might go out there and take more risks and face more fears because I've noticed the, the more risks I've taken, and I'm not saying I've taken humongous risks, but I've, I've taken big enough risks um, to, but with, you know, with something behind it, 
um, and it seems to have begun to work out for me a bit. And that's with my 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 relationships and friendships with you guys and stuff. And look at that light, dude. That was so bright. That is so cool. I know that house. I know that house. Never mind. Yeah, cool, cool people. But uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> seriously, I was like, oh my god, I felt like an alien. <laughs> it was so bright in the dark night. It was so bright in the dark night. The black light rang loud and clear across the line. Big Barney and more. <laughs> I love you. You love me. I wish we'd get more snow than they see. <laughs> oh man. Seriously. Like, I. I <laughs> It's like you guys are my siblings. I, I can really just 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 blurt shit stuff out. And uh, you know, almost in a Tourette type of a fashion. Just toss it out there. Just whatever's at the end of my tongue, just out. That's basically what happens a lot. And you know, yeah, it's it's annoying, but at the same time, like you guys need to realize you've helped free somebody significantly. And uh, yeah. Once again, thank you again for helping me face some fears and uh you know be more responsible and the fact that i care about you guys i literally try to respond to every darn comment that i that i see like uh i will i, I will never like not respond maybe sometimes it'll take like a day at the like very rarely and then like the extraordinarily rare ones are when it takes like over a week um it's I'm not trying to use BS excuses. My notification system, I get notified when you guys send me like the original comment. And then once I respond, if you guys send a response to that, I don't get any notifications about that. And with like hundreds and hundreds and, and hundreds of comments, I do try to like scroll back through and see. So I, I like, it's never intentional. Every single one of you means a lot to me. Every single one of you is super, super, super special in your own individual way. Um, you know, I'd like to borrow some of that so I can find my specialness. My specialness. There's a new word. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, man. You guys are freaking amazing. Look at all this. Look how crazy this fog is. What the fog is going on here? Uh, it's, it's a bit fogged up. This is pretty fogged. Oh, 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 wait, where am I going here? Guys, this is really foggy. I'm not fogging kidding. <laughs> it's not cursing. When I was at, uh, at rehab, <laughs> one of the many times, this one was in Utah at a place called Aspen Ranch. I was there for 11 and a half months when I was 16. Um... You know what? I'll save that story for another time. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I got a little too, uh, a little too jumpy for that story. But oh, you know what? I'll tell another story about that place. So obviously, like when you're in a rehab place, uh, in some groups and stuff, like you can you can curse. Um, it, at least like in in the adolescent, the adolescent areas and stuff, or like the adolescent rehabs and. Um, they, you know, the adult ones, they're always cursing. They, they try to tell you not to, but you know, whatever. But, uh, so we got so good at Aspen Ranch, all of us, like, uh, instead of saying the F word, we would like, like bleep it out of our sentences, but we'd like say the whole sentence through. Let me give you an example. It's really stupid. This is really, really childish. It's bringing me back to when I was 16 years old, <laughs> but that's, that's pretty awesome. So. It would be like, dude, what the f are you trying to say to me, man? Go f yourself, dude. You're a piece of, you know what? I'm gonna f you up later, dude. I'm gonna punch you in your head. <laughs> you dumb, <laughs> you know? But then when you're mouthing it, and uh, I don't know, it's it's just really, really, really childish. Or like, like 
because it was so cold at that rehab in Utah. It was a little town called Loa, Utah. L-O-A. Look it up, you guys, in Wayne County, Utah. That's where I lived. <laughs> Dude, that's where I lived. And the town hated us. They hated us. We were this like this like big mansion like in in this canyon and we were like all the druggy kids from like California and Oregon and Washington and stuff and and uh like um we considered these people hicks, right? Because that's like like that's 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 just what it was back then, right? It wasn't like a bad thing. But yeah, they it's they hated us. They hated us, man. Like uh we we got to to play basketball with them a few times because I I went to the uh, the Mormon church a few times with our uh, our rehab center as an excuse to get to go play some basketball because every Mormon church has a basketball court an indoor basketball court like beautiful wooden court dude so I was like yeah so we went and, and played and, and and these dude these these kids man like like these are rough and tumble kids these these are rough and tumble kids this is like uh I mean, dude, like, man, like, like rug rats, um, just, just throwing cheap shots constantly and stuff. And, um, you could tell that like they and their families looked down on us because we were, you know, these, these young kids with problems and this and that. And, but yeah, Loa, Utah, I actually really do like that town. I've got, I've gone back a couple times, believe it or not, one time to go visit the rehab. Um, and they wanted me to stay as a hired counselor and then work work my way up for like something else every rehab that i've been to they always ask me that and then like in my head i'm like thinking well i'm always coming back <laughs> but maybe if i was actually in that arena 24 7 just constantly helping people because my god like that's that's the best feeling in the world you guys because every rehab I was always at, I've been nine rehabs and two sober living houses. And I've been locked up inside those places for five total years. No jail, nothing like that. But just like the total amount of time spent in all these rehabs and sober living houses was over five years inside. Like I wasn't locked in there. I could like, these are houses and stuff and, uh, and, uh, and hospitals and stuff. Yeah, some of the hospitals like Hogue Hospital in my hometown of Newport. I was in the chemical dependency unit and you couldn't just walk out. Um, or else you'd be kicked out of the program and blah, 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 blah. It's a very expensive program. Uh, but they kicked me out anyway. Uh, long story. But, uh, yeah. That one didn't have to do with a female. <laughs> um, let's see here. Yeah, man. Uh, all that time spent in all those rehabs. But Utah was just so so beautiful and believe it or not some of my best times of my life were spent at aspen ranch like i i got to build a yurt a staircase um i didn't have fun doing the post hole digging for the fence that goes like a mile but uh you know it was part of the whole thing but we built a ropes course and it, it, it was just it turned out to be really really neat i really enjoyed it a lot My, my rear view mirror there was nobody there and then all of a sudden like right there and I'm assuming it's yeah it just kind of caught me off guard because you know there was nothing back there but anyway yeah so Loa Utah it's in uh, Wayne County Utah and uh, yeah I, th I think the elevation is pretty close to what we're at right now and we'd go hiking and camping in like Boulder Mountain and Thousand Lakes um, uh, I live right next to Capitol Reef National Park, so we did that quite a bit. They took us to Zion's, uh, they, uh, Canyonlands, um, uh, what's it called? 
mushroom hill or like something. Uh, Arches National Park. Let's see. Uh, a couple other national parks too. I think we did every national park in Utah at that rehab center. It was just, um, guys, it was, it, it was incredible. Incredible. It's just one of the most beautiful states in the world, well, in America, but one of the most beautiful areas of topography anywhere on the planet. And it's cool because you see like uh, fossils out there of fish and this and that way up in freaking Utah, up in the Utah's high freaking desert, which is where I basically live. As I said, near uh, Capitol Reef. So my town was called Loa. And I think the next town was called Bicknell. B-I-C-K-N-E-L-L, -L, I believe. And then the next town was Tory, I believe. Tory, Utah. T-O-R-R-E-Y, I think, or T-O-R-Y. And then once you went through there, then you, it was just a, 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 like a couple minutes to get to Capitol Reef National Park. And it's just such a beautiful place. Capitol Reef. But my favorite national park, I, uh, man, what the heck is it called? Uh, not Monument Valley, but uh, we were in Monument Valley as well. Um, I think it's called Canyonlands because there was snow everywhere and I still have pictures of it. It's just absolutely incredible, you guys. Man, you think this is beautiful here. Man, that was unbelievable. And Zion, the snow was absolutely amazing. But anyway, yeah, that was a fun little drive. We drove through that really nice part of the evening. Right now it's 7.35, temperature is exactly at freezing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Enjoying your night. Enjoying this drive. <clears throat> One thing that I can suggest, like, I know a lot of you are really nice, but I know I can get probably annoying. So um, like, I won't be offended if you hit the mute button and pop on some music and just enjoy like, the scenery of feeling like you're driving through this town. I used to just pop these videos on and put on Christmas music in the background. It worked great. It really did. It worked great. It didn't have to listen to me and it would just make me happy. If it makes you happy. Yeah. And it looks like on the radar, this is going to be out of here in about an hour. But once, once we get up here to Wren Street, we're going to turn right. And then we're going to take the, the these back roads all the way to Moon Ridge from as, uh, as far as we can basically go from Wren. We can turn down that street right there, which was Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, Knight Avenue across from Taco Bell to take you to Pennsylvania and then just, uh, just shimmy your way down the streets to get to Moon Ridge. And then Sama. So Ren's coming up here pretty quickly. And we're gonna hang a Roscoe on the wrench. Ah, uh, it's, snowing, it's snowing pretty good right now. It's another reason why I wanted to take the back street here because we can uh, hit the brights. You guys can see a better perspective of how heavy it is snowing right now. Not heavy, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So now we're gonna turn left on Brownie Lane. Look at this, guys. Look at that, man. I'm so happy. Cause today you found my friend in my head. I'm so ugly. That's okay. So are you in my head. Okay, I need to slow down. See, I'm, that's in these neighborhoods when there's snow, especially, well, no, not especially. Anytime there's snow, there's always anticipate there's going to be kids around. It just got dark and it just started to, uh, once again, I was wrong, accumulate. Well, I didn't say it like, no, I did say there would be zero accumulation. And this is technically accumulation on the side there. But I said we're not even going to get a half an inch. So at least let, at least let me be fifth. Linda, let me, hey, Linda, Linda. Let me be 50% right, maybe, all right? If it snows less than half an inch. Thank you. That would be very nice of you. Jeez, Linda. Absolutely killing me here. All right. 
Once again, that's where a bunch of fighters live and train. A bunch of boxes. Switzerland right now. That'd be pretty darn cool. <clears throat> There's no summit right there, you guys. His voice is dying. Thank God. <laughs> the arsenic's working. <laughs> oh, it it's arsenic? I thought you were just calling Nick an arse. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Good times, good times. All these lucky bastards get to stay right here, really close to the to the slopes. You know what? Are we gonna do this? Because there's there are a few uh, good potholes as we saw the other day. Yeah, this is a nice driveway. Yeah, let's hopefully not hit any potholes. This is Switzerland, guys. Uh, t most of the time, this road kind of sucks. It's uh, gets a lot more snow than just you know what we are gonna turn left here. We're not gonna go all the way down. It gets uh, more snow than just a road. The next road down here. Uh, the next parallel road. Just because it's that much closer to the base of the mountain right there, and it's just uh, gets a lot of potholes over there. It's not as maintained. Some of the biggest houses in Big Bear are on that road towards the end there towards Moon Ridge and then before you get to Moon Ridge if you make a right hand turn there's some like some like major military area some huge huge area it's just it's, it's awesome out there um yeah I don't know what it's called but it's freaking awesome yeah boy alright now we're on Evergreen look at that house man jeez I just live right across the street here. You go into these people's backyards and then go down to Moon Ridge Road right there, and then just jump across the street. I'm right there, and I just busted through a stop sign. I'm glad I'm going really, really slow, but that was not cool. That was not cool. I do apologize for that. It's certainly, certainly unintentional. Look at that house all lit up. Those people are raging, dude. Yeah. Oh man, that looks like fun. One of these days, someone in one of these huge houses is gonna be like, hey man, I recognize you from that channel. You wanna come hang? And I'm gonna be like, hell yeah. If I have time, actually. It's crazy, man. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm a busy man, which is like, <laughs> it wasn't the story of my life for a lot of it. I feel good being busy. Guys, we, we've got to stay here. We've got to stay here. But I am uh, doing th that other room at the fireside. I just have to get the recording for you guys because that'll give you guys the perspective of the actual, like the hotel part of the place. It's really cozy. You, you know, it feels like a little mountain cabin in each each hotel room so but anyway guys hope you guys have a good one if anything changes shortly i will go back out you guys have a good one and thank you for riding along it's march 25th 2021 big bear california